Hey there guys, uh, today we'll be talking about AWS PostgreSQL pricing. So if you're looking to use PostgreSQL in your AWS environment, you need to make sure to evaluate pricing and compare your options before you decide. A traditional lift and shift of your database can cause quite a headache. You need to know that for sure. So your DBA team likely wants to do it right the first time. And who doesn't, of course? Let's take a look at some of the options that you can get for running PostgreSQL databases in your AWS environment. You've got option one, self-managed Postgres on EC2. If you're currently running your database on-premises or in a private cloud, then the simplest conversion to public cloud in AWS is to stand up an EC2 virtual machine and install the Postgres software on that VM. Now, since PostgreSQL is open source, there is no additional charge for running the software. So you'll just be paying for the VM along with associated costs like storage and network transfer. AWS doesn't have custom instance sizes, but they have enough different sizes across instance families that you can find an option to match your existing server. Now you've got option two to use AWS Relational Database Service for hosted Postgres databases. If your database doesn't require custom configuration or community projects to run, then using the AWS RDS service may work for you. This hosted service comes with some great options that you may not take the time to implement with your own installation, which includes automated backups, multi-AZ options, behind-the-scenes patching to the latest version of Postgres, monitoring via CloudWatch, and built-in encryption options. As an option three, you've got Postgres-compatible AWS Aurora. One additional option when looking at AWS Postgres pricing is AWS Aurora, which is right over here. This AWS created database often is fully compatible with existing Postgres workloads, but enables auto scaling and additional performance throughput. The price is also attractive, as a similar size of R5DB.large in a multi AZ configuration would be $211 per month. Now, AWS Postgres pricing comparison. Let's have a little look. Comparing the costs of the three options that we have given before, self managed EC2 costs $80 per month. Hosted RDS running Postgres in a single AZ costs $130 per month. Hosted RDS running Postgres in multiple AZs will cost you $260 per month. And hosted RDS running Aurora in multiple AZs will cost you $211 per month. So running an EC2 instance yourself is clearly the cheapest option from a pure cost perspective, but you better know how to manage and tune your settings in Postgres for this to work. If you want your database to just work without worrying about losing data or accessibility, then the Aurora option is the best value for you, as the additional costs cover many more features that you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. So guys, for the... PostgreSQL, as we said before, you've got three options to choose from, the production, the development and testing, and the free tier. And of course, this goes according to what you need and the workload that you are going to be uh, utilizing. So choose intelligently and focus on what you need and how much storage you require.